welcome to our Valentine's Day card tutorial. My name's Alyssa. And I'm Carrie. And we're going to show you how to make some cards with 3D elements like this or this. So get your crafting supplies out or stop by the library and pick up some of ours because we're going to have some to give you. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make this adorable card that pops up with a kitty and a bunny. When you come by the library, I will have a template with all of these cute little guys so you can cut them out, but feel free to make your own shapes. So we have our cute bunny and our cute kitty completed. Now it's time to assemble. Here we go, here's our finished kitty. Now we have our kitty and our bunny. Now I'm going to set these guys aside and let them dry and start pulling up our card. Now we're going to put our bunny and our cat in our card. So first things first, we're going to stick them down in here and I'm going to fold them over to see how they fit. It looks like they fold over nicely. Want to make sure you uh, hold it long enough for their bottoms to attach and for their little toes to attach if you're having problems with those coming up I found that these little guys in the front came up a lot while I was positioning them and so I had to re-glue them several times and I would definitely suggest decorating all your pieces before you assemble them I didn't do that this time because I wanted to let you guys use your imagination. So the next part I'm going to do, I'm going to hold the card up to where I want it to sit and see just about where I want to place their little feet down. This is, this is the hard part. Double checking you got it in the right position and I don't. So we're going to come back like this. There we go, that's a little better. Close over and they'll stay. And now they'll pop up. Ta-da! While those are drying, I'm going to add this so that I can put a little message between them. Okie dokie, and there's that. elements of what you can do with pop-up cards if you should choose to do something like a message. So if you wanted to, you could use grid paper and that grid paper you would just tape down to the paper that you have below and then draw your design out and then with an exacto knife you're going to do all of the lines that are going vertically. Now, what I found useful is folding this and seeing where the center of my grid paper is, which is right here. So for mine, it wasn't a perfect measurement. From there, I counted down about how much space I wanted it to pop out. So there's one square, two square, two and a half squares. So that's where I made my design. So I went down two and a half squares, and I made my design by drawing a heart on the picture. And then I wanted it to be an 8-bit heart like video games. So I went ahead and marked where I wanted my heart to be. And then I did two and a half above so that everything will pop out the same amount. So in the end, you get this. And as you can see, you can see all the little pieces that are sticking forward. And it's the same amount on the top as it is the bottom. So make sure if you're making the heart this way or laying down that way, that you use the same amount of space and use that fold to your benefit. It will take a lot of time 
and some finagling to do these ones though. So take your time and while you have this graph paper, it's grid paper on top of it, make sure and run across it with your thumbnail or with your pencil so that you have little spots you know where to fold and push down very hard and that will get you those lines that you're looking for and basically do kind of um, a pre-folded area. There we go, you can see the back end. What you do is you take a little sheet of paper and you fold it in half and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut a slice out of it at an angle and then draw your design on it. And then at the, when you're done with that, you should end up with something like this. With these little tabs on the back to glue it down. And here you are. You got your two hearts You're sending a lot of love. Next, I'm going to show you how to make our secret message card, or in my case, my snarky message card. <laughs> Love is in the air. Try not to breathe. <laughs> All right, so first we're going to start with the long piece of the card. Here's my long piece, and I'm just going to put the edges together and kind of estimate where's even. And and then use the side of my nail to smooth down the edges so they're nice and crisp. Ta -da! Next, I'm going to cut out our message face. I think we should do our meaning face. Looks good to me. So next, we're gonna do the window portion that you'll see the message through. Look at that beautiful. And then I'm going to mark where I need to fold my paper. That sits down very nicely. All right, so I'm gonna turn it around after I double check that I have everything lined up nicely with no, nothing showing from the outside. All right, let's turn this over and we're gonna just lift this flap and we'll glue. Okay, so I'm gonna put this underneath something so that it sticks down nice while we're cutting out the next pieces. All right, so what I did was I measured over just about how much I wanted to cover up. And then I started to look at where it would sit when it was shut. So you have to make sure that when you're doing this, your pieces are still able to lay over one another. And then I wanted to have kind of a, a good amount of space for that tab right there that you can see underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out. Now I'm gonna use this design as kind of a template as to where to fold and place this one. And since there's pencil marks on that side, I'm just going to flip it over. And then I'm going to mark where I want to fold this one. And then I'm going to fold both of them at the same time. Okay. Yeah, I would definitely suggest using tape to position them first so that you can open and close the card without having um, the pieces get tacky and leave little marks behind like this. So you could do some sort of silly message on the inside or on the, um, when you say something nice on the outside like, Happy Valentine's Day! You're still single. Or, <laughs> I don't know, something silly. Valentine's Day! 
Stroll, no, no, no. I'm going to show you how to make this kind of pop-up card where it has like a little box and some hearts in it and then these three hearts that at the top that are connected. And then next, I it's a normal sheet of paper, but I cut off a little bit of the top and a little bit of the sides so that way it'll fit inside this card. And you just cut one straight line over here, about that long, and then you do another one up just a little bit and that'll be your box. And then you're gonna open it up and you're gonna fold this part inward. Close it, fold that down, and now you have the box part. Some more purple hearts to come out of the box. Well, we hope you enjoyed making some cards. Please share yours with someone you love. Share the love. Share the love. <laughs>